guys, it's Mike Dale. Welcome back and in today's video I want to show you the recipe for cheesecake. This cheesecake is going to be low carb and um, I didn't add any sugar. I used silicone instead which doesn't raise the insulin levels. It's such a it's a much better option to use zilli um because um, in, in any of your cooking, if you need to use something sweet, some um, substitute to sugar, use zilli I highly recommend it. This cheesecake is absolutely amazing. I made it for Christmas and we all absolutely loved it. Very, it's very delicate, it's very like fluffy and it's just amazing. Um, you need to try it out. Let me know what you think about this recipe and uh, keep watching. From ingredients we're going to need 100 grams of almond flour, also two to three um, tablespoons of melted coconut oil, Next is ricotta cheese um, at a room temperature. This is about 700 to 750 grams, which is about three packs. Now, same room temperature for um, good quality eggs. Now we're going to need about one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, I've run out a little bit, uh, but you can um, go ahead and add one and a half. Now, juice of half lemon and one cup of zilitol. Yeah, I think you can substitute it with stevia, but um, zilitol should be much better for it. And one fourth um, of a cup of uh, natural yogurt. First thing, we're going to add coconut oil to almond flour and um, mix it all together. Then we're going to take baking tin and uh, we're going to press um, all of it to the bottom of the, um, the tin. So spread it evenly and press it. Then we're going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, we're in a bowl, we're going to um, use the, um, the hand blender for ricotta cheese. And remember to sort of take everything off the, the walls so that it's everything is nice and um, mixed um, together and we're adding eggs now at a room temperature of course and we'll mix it into the ricotta cheese after that we're adding zilitol and same thing we'll, we'll blend it in together vanilla extract and lemon juice and add the yogurt so these are all ingredients we have to blend it to a smooth nice consistency and remember to do the same thing as before take everything off the walls of the bowl and mix it in so that it's nice and smooth lovely consistency after that we're taking out um, the baking tin from the oven and we pour the mixture on top of it. Then we'll put it in the oven, um, back in the oven um, for 200 degrees and I would say it should sit, sit in the oven for about an hour. If your um, oven is not that good, just keep it on 200 degrees. If your oven is very good, I would sort of um, reduce the temperature to 100 degrees after about 40 minutes and then you'll have to watch it. This is the ready cheesecake. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. I hope you try it out. Let me know what you think. And thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.